This is Jonathan Van Ness from Netflix's Queer Eye, and today I'm here with Harper's Bazaar, making the affirmations rain and the hearts feel good. Hi. I love this beard. Oh, thank you. Not that I'm like pre-affirmationing you. <laughs> Tell me about you. So I'm pregnant. Um, I'm due in two months, and it's I'm feeling a little bit not sexy in my life. Okay, well, I'm in my mid-30s, and my friends and family members are getting married, they're having kids, and I'm still single, and my relationship life, my dating life is going nowhere. I have a two-year-old, yeah. and I am 29. I feel like I- Honey, I've... you're not a day over 20. Don't lie to me, we're on camera, girl. You can't lie on I camera like it. that. Okay, but anyway. Who gave you permission to be like this big when you're pregnant, honey? <laughs> you look amazing. Bless you. I'm getting married this summer. You are? And I'm going through those insecurities of will I look amazing in my dress? Will I feel amazing on the biggest day of my life? Have you here? picked your dress yet? I have. <gasps> But you know, I'm super conscious about it. I'm like, am I gonna have the waist? Am I gonna you have, have the great waist. ass? Am I you gonna have, have the ass? Yes. You have the waist. She slayed. Oh my god. What about a veil? Is there a veil? Cathedral veil. <gasps> <laughs> um, so I was diagnosed with endometriosis last oh. year, and I lost a lot of hair, so I'm like struggling to feel some sort of confidence and like that I'm still sexy, like, I love my body, but my hair's not doing it for me. And your hair's gorge, honey. You're just giving me, like, a little center part Kim K, like, little tuck behind the ear. She's everything, you know what I mean? My friends, they want to go out, they want to go drinking, they want to, you know, go out and party, and I'm not. So maybe it's like, um, your affirmation is something about, like, oh. I hear myself. I hear myself. I hear myself. I hear myself. If that voice is like, girl, you got to work at six o'clock this morning, it's now 8.30 at night, and my friends want me to meet at 9.30, but I don't have that in me tonight, you're gonna be like, I hear you. I feel like I'm always trying to make people laugh or, you know, trying to go out of my way to do things for other people, and it's not always, like, reciprocated. Uh, got it. I am enough. You need to look at yourself right in the eye. I am enough. I am enough. I'm enough. I'm enough. Mm -hmm. You're slaying the game. Hair is laid, face laid. Love this outfit. And you're raising a beautiful baby girl, so it's like your affirmation is about like slowing down long enough to realize the beauty and the polish that you are rocking. I desire my own time. I desire my own time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm worthy of my own time. Yes. yes. <laughs> I'm worthy of my own time. I appreciate my own time. I appreciate my own time. And I'm like worthy of love. I am worthy of love. So my daughter's name is Bailey. Could you give me an affirmation for her? Oh my God, I love her name. <laughs> yes, yeah, Bailey. So wait, can she talk yet? Yeah, can she, she oh talked. Yesterday she said, what's up, sis, <gasps> <laughs> to me. <laughs> I feel like what's so important for girls to hear, it's like, well, not girls, but just like anyone who's like, I yeah. am strong. I am strong. I'm a strong, beautiful girl. Yes, I'm a strong, beautiful, beautiful girl. girl. I'm a strong, beautiful girl. I'm a strong, beautiful girl. How dare you talk to me about not feeling polished enough when you're like literally so slain. I appreciate that. Oh my God, Thank come you here. Thank so uh, Love. <laughs> your beauty is something that like your hair and your face and your body like never even touch. <laughs> like my beauty is in my heart. My beauty is in my heart. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Thank you. Give me a little Kim K moment. She can't help it. You know what I mean? It. Killing it. Ah, love you. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to hug you.